Hello, Andrew Bell here, and we're going to look at the literature review chapter in your master's dissertation. Now, this is a fundamental requirement to meet the Quality Assurance Agency, the QAA definition. You have to demonstrate a mastery of knowledge in your topic at master's level. And that's what's going to be achieved in the literature review. The literature review is a critical evaluation of the literature. It's not just saying this author says this and this author says that and this author says the other. It's a critical evaluation of the literature. So we're going to have a, a look at many different authors and see if they agree with each other or hopefully they start to disagree with each other because that gives us something to comment on and discuss and evaluate as to why they disagree. The literature review has to demonstrate that you know who are the experts in the field and you know where the current research is. So don't think you can write a literature review uh, with references that are dated before the year 2000. So you're just not demonstrating that you're current. Or use a literature review where you don't actually use any of the well-known authors and experts in your topic. And we ought to think about the timing. I mean, in some subjects, the experts, the, the masters, the giants um, existed in the, the 1950s, total quality management. Or project management came out of the arms race in the 1960s. So there's some key references and citations that you need to use from that era. But you have to back them up and say they're still current by looking for confirmation that they're still current from authors in the recent era. Now, if you're writing a dissertation now, it's going to be published in the year 2018. I really wouldn't expect many references or citations prior to the year 2000, unless you've justified them and backed them up, as I suggest. Um, I would be expecting to see that you're demonstrating a mastery of your subject. Lots of those citations and references are from the years 2013, 14, 15, 16. Otherwise, you're going to get criticised from having not up to date references. Now, it could be the books in the library, uh, are, uh, issue six, edition six. And in Amazon, you'll find edition eight. So always make sure that you're using the latest version that you can find. You're demonstrating you know the current direction for research in your topic area. You're even going to suggest where the research is going to go in the future, in the coming years. So look at many recent authors. Uh, look at books, look at journal articles. They'll be very modern. Look at how they define something. Look for the differences, try and explain the differences um, and save that for discussion later. In the literature review, start very broad and then become more specific. Now, the example I'm using in this uh, set of videos is to um, look at uh, project life cycles in the automotive industry using um, Honda as a, as a research topic. Um, so we've got to demonstrate that we understand project management, project management in the automotive industry, project management in Honda. So we're narrowing down our topic from the broad to the specific. In fact, if we just look at the title, it's going to suggest areas that have to be in the literature review. I'm afraid too often I read dissertations with a title um, that include words that aren't used in the literature review. So um, project life cycles in the automotive industry using Honda as a case study. We're going to have to have a chapter on project management in the literature review and specifically project life cycles. We're going to have to have a chapter that we understand the automotive industry as a very broad topic and that we understand the specific current issues in the automotive industry. And that we understand how project management is being applied in the automotive industry. And we're also going to have to have a look at background of Honda 
say that we know how big Honda is, we know how many cars they've made, we know their history over the past uh, 15, 20 years, but specifically what's recently happened there. Now, as you're writing the literature review, um, make notes for use later um, in the discussion chapters, the further work chapters, the recommendation chapter. Um, you can make notes, you know, oh, I found something a little bit odd. This needs my comment. This needs my discussion. Uh, my research isn't going this deep. Um, this is something that could be done as uh, a further work. Or a good recommendation would be this. So you're writing the literature review chapter to establish your knowledge. Make notes that you may or may not use in the later chapters. Uh, my final comment. Look back at your objectives. It's very easy to get sucked into writing the, a good literature review about everything you want to know about this topic. But actually, is it meeting your research objectives? Are you writing things that are now interesting you because of your research that weren't actually in your research objectives? Uh, I'm happy for you to write a lot. It demonstrates your mastery of the, the topic. Um, but at some point you may want to say, well, actually, this needs taking out. This doesn't actually add any value to the arguments that I'm trying to look at in my dissertation. That's it. Some topics for the some tips for the literature review. It's a critical evaluation of the literature. Use modern citations. Use the latest authors. Suggest where research is going. Make sure you cover the topics that are suggested in your title. And as you're writing it, make notes for the further work, for the discussion, for the evaluation chapters. And make sure at all times you're working towards meeting your objectives. Thank you.